vintage American candy. Oh, very nice. You oh. look, you have the kind of aesthetic for it as well. Hello, yes. Oh, I yes. I the past. <laughs> <laughs> Doing American vintage candy. Yes! Yay. We're going back in time. See, I have no idea. Like, all of their old stuff is still kind of around. Mm, it, yeah. You know what I mean? So I can't tell. I haven't tried much retro candy. Um, I think I had one here as well, but mm. it wouldn't be uh, high on my trying list. I hope they're weird. I'm at this point where I'm like, yeah, make them weird. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> See, I'm still like newish, so I'm like, no, just keep them as low low key as possible. Whore hound? Whore? Don't call her that. Sorry. Are these genuinely called whore hound? All I see is a weed. Well, I know if you put a weed in a piece of sweet wrappering, it, it's not gonna be good. No. It is an old fashioned looking olive green and, and pale. You know yeah, what I mean? That is lovely. Yeah. How old fashioned are they? They have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. <laughs> I'm not expecting it's gonna be good. <laughs> Does it just taste like a lot of sugar to you? They do not taste good. Just kind of tastes like plastic. It's one of those boiled sweets where it's kind of hard to get down there into the. Flavor. It's a nice flavor, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. I don't even know what it tastes like. I don't know what it tastes it like either. It tastes weird. Like, it, my teeth are gonna break if I chew into this. You'll be there for ages to try and just like wear it down. They're aeroplane sweets. I'm trying to get into it, because the outside ain't giving it to me. Oh, don't, ooh! Oh. <laughs> Can we get a dentist up in here, please? There's a familiar flavor that I don't like, but I know what it is, but I can't think of it. It's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. There's like a slight mintiness to it, but not like enough. Like it's barely there. Mm. It kind of tastes like root beer. I don't like root beer, so that's probably why I don't like this. I just think it's a weed, because it looks like a weed. Is that a weed? These are old fashioned and they can stay in back in time. Not bad, I'd suck on the thing all day long. Would you? Yeah. You'd suck on the I'd thing all day long. I'd suck on the thing all day long and happily enjoy it. Peanut butter. butter! That's a surprise, all right. Peanut butter bar bars, also sugar-free. I'm loving the retro style of this. Do you like peanut butter? I don't mind it, but I wouldn't be able to eat an actual spoon of it. Mmm. That's way too much. Like, on a scale of dermis to I like peanut butter. Uh, in the middle. Oh, this looks like an old packet, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, it looks like a Toy Story, like a woody type thing. Like, there's actual peanuts in this as well. Thank God we're not allergic. Oh, <laughs> you know, I like it. Mm. I like this. That oh. was really easy to bite. Not for me. <laughs> I love this. It's, it's like a little good. surprise. A candy coated peanut butter cup. This is really good. Oh my god, that's impossible to eat. What is this? Mmm. I thought it was going to be like a horrible boiled sweet, but it's actually like a brittle. Mmm. Why is it because it's brittle? To me, no, it wouldn't be uh, up my street now. If, if it was going up the road and I had to pick a road. Oh. It's like it's turning into actual peanut butter. I now have gum and chewy bits all over the gap. This is my worst nightmare right now. It is a bit chewy, mm -hmm. but it's like a million times better than what I thought it was going to be. Really stuck in my teeth though. That's what I mean, but yeah. it tastes great. Mm. Extreme peanut butter flavor off it though, extreme. If you were just sitting down in the back of church or wherever you are and you had one of these and someone looked at your daddy. Gurning. Is that guy okay? <laughs> I love these. Especially the violet ones, even though people think it tastes like soap. Smarties, wait. What? No. These aren't these smarties. Aren't smarties. They're, not they're not smarties. They're not smarties. A smarties is a small little chocolate. chocolate with chocolate shell. I think we're both having the same thoughts. Had these as children at birthday parties, never knew what they were called. To be fair though, our smarties had to be taken off the shelf years ago because the blue one had too much caffeine and made children go apeshit. Oh, they're such beautiful little colors. I'm gonna take multiple at once. That's the way you're meant to eat them. One shot it. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god, these are so good. Instantly, my saliva is just fruit flavored. Oh, that's really good. Oh my god. Fat free, gluten free. Oops. Oh, whoa! Sorry. Peanut free. Don't roll your eyes at me, Colin. I didn't open this. Oh, fuck. What's it about this that it really gets the juices flowing in your mouth? Oh, It is vintage. Very old fashioned sweet and they've been around for years. Like my parents must have had our version of these when they were kids. Reminds me of childhood birthday parties. Even eating them all at once. 
It's so chalky. I'm definitely getting some kind of sharp feeling in my mm-hmm. mouth. I have like five fillings, so they're all possibilities of this. <laughs> they're all like ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Body of Christ. Hey, man. <laughs> uh, very good, very, very sweetie. Good. Brings you back to the 90s. How did we get this far without knowing these were called Smarties? They got a point for nostalgia. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's so vintage. They made the most easiest product in the world. It's, it's still around in 2020. So this is Marshmallow Circus Peanut. The finest circus peanuts since 1940. Try one and enjoy the taste of a true nostalgic candy. Oh, they're marshmallows. They are rock hard marshmallows. Oh, wow. It looks like a brick. I thought they were going to be squishier. Da, 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 da. It is a creepy clown though. Yeah. I am over the moon about this. I'm a kid and I have orange sweets in my hand. Happy days! I feel like I'm back at the circus. We might as well stop playing with our food. I know, I, they're just so squishy. I don't know, your nanny could chew on that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, I remember I love you. these types of candies. Do you like them? I love them. They're not for me now. Where's the flavour? Wait for it. Where is the flavour? These are like when you, you know, when you get something in the shop and you're like, give me the rest in jellies. Mm. Do you know what tastes exactly like the banana? Exactly like the banana ones. Mm. There's foam bananas that are the exact same. I never would have described them as marshmallow. I agree with you on that. Those look like the peanut you think. I'm not mad about them now. There's something, there's something rank about them. You'd eat loads of them. Definitely you? make you get very sick if you ate them. Yeah. <laughs> Too much of these. They taste full of sugar for me. Like it's like a marshmallowy sugary treat. Give them to your kids all day long. No complaints. Fun to play with though. Oh the best to play with. I'd eat, I'd eat the whole bag of them though. Mm. Whoa! Creepy clown aside. Good. This is not a sucky sweet. Oh, it's Dad's old-fashioned root beer. Dad, thank you. <laughs> well, ah, uh, good old okay. Dad and his root beer. Ah, yeah, go on, Dad. Dad. <coughs> oh, sorry, that was a demon coming out of my throat. <laughs> Look at the old-fashioned staple shop package. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how did you reseal it? And then... <laughs> it's shaped like a little barrel, like that root beer comes in. Mine's broken, but it's shaped like a root beer barrel. I've never had root beer. I'm more of like a Coca-Cola type girl. It smells like medicine. So these are from the 30s, 1937. Maybe they could be from the 30s. Yeah. Well, there's another one, I have to give it a few licks. You're not gonna like it. I don't think. No, I don't. I am not going <laughs> to chew on it this big, yeah. It looks smaller in the packet, but it's mm. huge in your mouth. In, it's, it's our eyes are bigger than our mouths, my god. Root beer has always tasted like mouthwash to me. That's it. Mouthwash. It tastes more like dad's armpit. Yeah, it tastes like if you, have, if you sprayed old spice into <laughs> your mouth. I think it's nice. I love a hard boiled sweet, so. I'm not. I hate it. This is not where I live. It's old. <laughs> It's just what you think would be like an old sweet. Now it just tastes like licorice. It does taste very daddish. I've licked many a dad and they don't taste like this. <laughs> you could watch a whole movie in the cinema and still be sucking on this by the time yeah. you want. This is want? huge. What I do like is that they correctly placed their apostrophe on the bag. Mm. Again, fun things that I know that are not useful. That's very useful. Every bit of taste is gone now because of the root beer. Yeah. It's obliterated <laughs> my but taste buds. Trip down memory lane for yes. some. Trip to the whore, hounds, for others. <laughs> when you say candy, I was still expecting chocolate. That was just um, candy, like yeah. sweets, you know? Oh so. my God, my teeth are sticking together. <laughs> if you enjoyed watching that, why don't you subscribe to the Try Channel? You've been watching the Try Channel. And if you have something to say, say it down in the comments. But don't be mean.